where the heart is Oh, that sounds cliche I would rather say Home is where you park in I wonder where we're sleeping today Hi, I'm Anna I'm Arnon And this is our Volkswagen Barry uh, He's from 1980 And we are both from Holland This video is sponsored by Dylan McGaster. Check out our new channel by clicking the link and be sure to subscribe. Before buying the Volkswagen, we lived in a Apart apartment just in, in Holland. Let's say life was a bit boring. We just had our regular work as a music teacher. We thought like there is more, you know, there is more to explore. There is more in life than just earn money and go to your work every day. And We just got married in 2016 and then I guess three months later we bought the van and uh, we didn't have a lot of money. The van was like 2,100 euros. Because we, we bought it and then we were living for one year in an apartment. And after one year, we, we just decided to go and to live in it full time. It was pretty scary in the beginning. We didn't save money. We just thought, okay, God, we just trust you. We're just gonna go. We told our family, we don't know when we're gonna come back. Maybe we come back after two weeks or maybe we never come back. So it was pretty, like, pretty emotional as well. We were like, like after one week, we're like, what are we doing? And how are we going to make money? But it's been two and a half years and it's been one big adventure. This is my Volkswagen, Volkswagen um, LT 31, and it's from 1980, so it's really old, <laughs> but I really like it. It's three meters, three meters high, I think two meters wide, and I really like the front. It's like, it's, he it looks really cute, I think. <laughs> so it's a two-wheel two -wheel drive. I made a little hole here for the earplugs because we use them while driving because it's so noisy. Because the engine is here between us in the middle. And it's also handy because it's, it's like a table, you know, you can put food on it. And while you're driving, you can just grab something to eat. This is the LPG tank. Um, I can just fill it at the, at the gas station. It's really handy. On the roof is the solar panel. And it's really nice because I can fold it like in an angle of 30 degrees. I know the panel gives uh, 100, 130 watts and my battery is 100 ampere. This, I did this uh, maybe one uh, a half year ago and this is just a, a army box. I just bought it second hand and just for extra storage. It's like a little shed, you know, with a fishing rod. This is the best side, I think because we made this drawing, big drawing, and we're not finished yet, but we're gonna finish. It's, oh, this is the awning, and uh, sometimes it's nice, I mean, if you are, if it rains or something, you still wanna sit outside, you just can fold it, or when it's really hot, it's also really handy. Underneath here is a water tank, so we can, I don't know, 60 liters or something. Hey! Welcome to our van. Come take a look at the inside. This is our toilet. We have like uh, the toilet in here. This is the, the kitchen. So we have two stoves. Like we have a pretty big fridge, one small freezer. This is my favorite part of the van. It is our oven and we can put it on the stove. 
and it works just it works fantastic it has like a it's like the heat comes under it and then it circulates so you can just basically make anything you want like like you can use it as a normal oven so that's what I really like because I love to bake and we think like the previous owners used it as like a bed for for a child but all our instruments are behind it so I can I can open it so we have like guitar bass banjo microphone stands melodica here's like a loop station to mix because we also record our own songs in our van so we basically we set it up like uh, we use blankets and pillows to make like soundproofing and uh, we have to kill the flies before we record well this is Arnon's fishing rod because he loves to fish so and that's really I think that's the best when he catch some fish and then we can uh, like eat it like we make a fire and we just um, prepare it and I don't know it's just the best. Arnon is working on this <laughs> thing that will be here in front of the door for that will prevent the flies from coming in. This is our little library we have some books uh, this is our the CD we made so this is a uh, well, this is us in our van, it's called Homes Where You Park It. We have our closet. So I can show you, like here are all our, our clothes. So winter, summer clothes, it's all in here. Um, shoes are up here. <laughs> Heater is here. This is our water tap, which makes a lot of noise. This is a cupboard with uh, utensils and pots and pans and uh, plates and stuff like that. I have a little like a little blender which is very handy. I use it a lot to make like hummus. Um, well of course as you can see this is the bed and we actually love it like this. We can also make a table out of it so we can just um, put the mattresses to the side and we have two couches and then we can put the table up. But right now it's it's the bed and then on this side and on that side we have space underneath so that's where we we also because we play a lot on the streets we have these uh, speakers so we put it in here and yeah actually we had a lot of parties and dinners in here and we just with all our friends we were like most of the time we're like with eight or ten people and we just have dinner here inside so everybody sits on a bed or on the engine and we just just eat together and just spend time here make music i think that's what we really like like when we are with a lot of other friends and we always come and and sit on our bed because we we're like we don't we don't care if there's like food on our on our bed i know people sometimes get really annoyed when they're like breadcrumbs in their bed but we're like okay we just you know we clean it up and then we go to sleep so that's really nice is what we really like um, because it's small but you can still invite people in uh, but that's nice sometimes I miss the fact that we cannot open the back doors because you always see like those Instagram posts and they're like oh, like view on the ocean and we cannot do that but at the same time yeah, the space is very efficient, I think. You know, our van is not like Instagram perfect, but it's just, this is just who we are. It's, you know, it's not, we just like it like this. You can always see like problems, but just think in solutions. So just think, how am I gonna solve this problem?
just have to face the the problems and just face the unknown. like they were actually a bit like laughing like oh I don't think you're ever gonna even like cross the border yeah, from Holland to, to Belgium. Belgium with the, such an old van you know stuff like that and they said like oh watch out for this and that but yeah if we would have listened to to those people we would never leave and and now when we look back it's one of the best decisions we ever made is don't fear and just go.